Hello and welcome to this video on the volume of a prism. Now just to recap what a prism is, a prism is just a 3D shape such that wherever you were to chop the 3D shape, you would see the same 2D shape on the slice. We call that the cross section. So if you were to imagine, for example, you had some Play-Doh, and you might have seen those Play-Doh machines where you can force the Play-Doh through a particular shape, say like a star, and then it would come out as a tube. Um, wherever you chop that tube of Play-Doh, you would see that star, wouldn't you? And that star would be the cross section. Now there's a very simple formula for the volume of a prism, and it's just equal to the area of the cross section times by the length of the prism. So we just times it by the length. And that's it, that's the only formula you will need for this video. So let's do this first one here. We want the volume of, this is a triangular based so the volume is going to be the area of the cross section. Now the cross section here is just a triangle. And the area of a triangle is just half times base times height. So the area of the cross section will be half times the base, which is 4, times by the height, which is 3. That will be the area of the cross section. And then it's the area of the cross section times the length to get the volume. So the length of this prism is that 8 there. So we just times it by the 8. And then we just need to put that on our calculator or do it in our head, and that gives us 48. And then the unit there is centimetres, so the unit of the volume here will be centimetres cubed. What about the second one? The volume of this funny solid here is 15 metres cubed. What is the area of the cross section? Now we're already given the volume of 15, so the volume of 15, that's the volume there, is equal to the area of the cross section. We don't know that, let's just call it A multiplied by the length, which we know is 3 metres. So what times 3 is 15? Well, it's 5, isn't it? We can just do 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And the unit, well, it's an area, so it's going to be metres squared, to be consistent with that unit of metres there. Now, 3 is a little bit harder, because we've got some more complicated rectilinear shape on the front here. We want to find the area of this cross-section at the front here. So if I just draw that cross-section again, we're told that is 8 centimetres, that is 9 centimetres. This length here, that's 5, isn't it? And then this length here is 7. So we can fill in the other lengths. Well, this length here, well, that's going to be 9. That whole length is 9 there. Minus the 7, and we're left with 2 there. And this length here is going to be the 8. So that's 8 minus that 5, which is 3. So we've got 3 here. And then we just need to split it to find the area of the shape. So I'm going to split it here. Now the area of this rectangle here is 2 times 5, length times height, so that's 10. I like to put the area in a circle like that. And then we've also got this rectangle 7 by 8, 7 times 8 is 56. So the area of the cross section is equal to, well it's a 10 plus a 56, which is 66 unit is centimetres squared, it's an area. And that means the volume is going to be the area of the cross section is 66 times by the length, which is 5, and that gives us 330 metres cubed. And what about this last one? I've got this solid here. I make the above statue out of solid cement. Each 50 metres cubed of cement costs 43 pounds. What is the total cost to build the statue? Now again, we need to find the cross-sectional area. So if I just draw this shape here, and we've got 12 here, we've got 14 here, and we've got, uh, that's 8 there, so that's 8 there also. And we're also told that's 5. And we could just split this up into two 2D shapes. We've got a rectangle here, well 5 times 8 is 40, that's the easy bit. Now we also need to find the area of this trapezium. Now that length there is 14, the total length is 14, and that length is 5, so 14 minus 5 is going to be 9, so that length there is 9 and that there is 8, isn't it? Now, do you remember that the area of a trapezium, we can think of it as the area of a rectangle, but we just need to average the two parallel sides. So it's the average of the parallel sides times the distance between them. So the area of the cross-section is going to be the average of the parallel sides, so we can do that by just adding them and dividing by 2, but you could do it in your head, because halfway between 8 and 12 is just 10, and then we times that by the distance between them, which is 9. 
So that's 10 times 9, which is 90, uh, and the unit is metres squared. And that means the volume is just the area of the cross-section times by the length of the prism, which is missing from the diagram, so we're going to have to add it. Let's just say that's 3. So we do 90 times by 3, and that equal to 270 metres cubed. Now we're told that each 50 metres cubed of cement costs £43, so we need to see how many times 15 goes into 270. That gives us how many bags of cement. So we do 270 divided by 15, which is equal to 18, and then we've got 18 lots of 50 metres cubed, so we've got 18 lots of £43, and that gives us a total cost of 700 and 74 pounds.